Imran says, if a friend gives me something to sell on his behalf, and he gives me a specific amount to sell it for so, is it permissible if I add some amount on the price and I give him his amount and keep the rest without informing him? But after the deal is over, he may give me some appreciation fee, not knowing I had already taken some profits. Can I take that as well? This is a question that a lot of the Muslims ask about. This is greed. And whenever greed gets involved in our minds and in our transactions, we're bound to lose. And I always tell brothers and sisters that when someone comes to me, and convinces me of a project and of the high return of such a project, I usually get greedy and invest only to lose all what I've invested in a few months' time. Why? I did my due diligence. I looked into the investment. Yes, but I was greedy. Had I known better, I would have taken my time, I would have taken guarantees, I would have ensured that the process was monitored to avoid any abuse, but greed comes in, it erases everything. High risk, high profit, they say. Well, usually it's high risk, high loss, rather than high profit. So. Now, most people, whenever they do something for others, they want to make a buck out of that. The transaction, first of all, has to be analyzed. When your friend gives you a product to sell, are you, one, a partner? So the money is from him, the work is from you, and you split the profit according to the percentage you agree upon. Two, are you an agent? Meaning that you're selling it for him and he's giving you a fixed commission. Whether it's, um, you're like someone working for him. So you're not an agent per se, rather than you are an employee of him. Take this, sell it, and at the end of the day, I'll give you X amount of money. Or are you a good friend, a good Samaritan? So you're just doing it as a favor for him. Now, you have to analyze this because then you can tell whether what you're taking from him is halal or haram. If you are a partner, this means that it is laid down on the table from the very beginning. Take this and sell it. Okay, this is the capital of our company. And I'm the one doing the marketing. Whatever profit we get, it has to be 80-20. 50-50, 30-70, whatever percentage we decide. Agreed? He says, agreed, go ahead. But you're not a partner. Okay, am I an employee or an agent selling it on his behalf and he's giving me a fixed amount of money for my work? The answer is no. There's no agreement. So... Am I a good friend of his? Doing it for his sake, not charging a penny? This is what he's convinced of. And now you're cheating him and acting behind his back. There's a fourth category, which is 
you are the owner of the merchandise. So he tells you, I'd like 100 euros for this. This is with my profit. You say, okay, I'll buy it from you. And you give him the 100 or you consider it as a loan, but he sold it to you. You take it and you market it and you maybe sell it for 500 euros, 300, 200 euros, whatever. He has no right to complain and say, wow, you made so much money. Give me more. He sold it to you for 100 euros. That's it. This is the end of it. Whatever you do with it, it's up to you. So which one is it? Definitely it is number three. You are doing it as a favor. So you cannot make money out of him. This is cheating and lying. It is like me going to Europe on a business trip. And someone shows me something. Listen, I need this perfume and bo body lotion and hand uh, uh, gel, for example. Whoa, this is expensive. Yeah, I need, the, I need you to buy this for me, please. I said, yeah, sure, okay. I go and buy it for 100 euros. I go back to him and said, here you are. It costs 120 euros. And the guy gives me 120 euros, thinking that this is what I bought it for. Now, if he were to know that I made 20 euros profit off him, probably he would never speak to me again in his life. Why? I paid for the taxi, I paid for my time, which I took and I spent and wasted for him. No problem. Tell him this ahead of time. Or tell him this before you give him the merchandise. So when he tells you, buy me this, he said, no problem. But listen, I'll charge 20% my fee for whatever I buy you. If he says, Done deal. Alhamdulillah. You now become an agent or an employee for him. But if he says, no, this is a lot. I don't need this. Okay, khalas, end of story. But to go behind his back and make profit without his knowledge, this is totally haram. And unfortunately, a lot of the Muslims are doing this, thinking that this is their God-given right. No, it's not. People are asking you to buy things or to sell things for them. Thinking well of you, thinking that of you as a friend and that you're doing it for the sake of their friendship, not to make money out of us. Tell them ahead in the beginning that you will be charging this or that. And then if they agree, then it becomes halal for you, inshallah.